Welcome to Spiritual Rockstar Podcast, where world-changing spiritual entrepreneurs come to deeply awaken the power within to bring forth their greatest purpose, to create massive awakened impact for millions of souls around the planet, while enjoying being in tune with all life and real wealth in all aspects of their lives. I'm your host, Daniel John Hanneman. So they say if you just work harder and you get your mindset right, you really think really positive that good things are going to happen. You get after that market, you sign up for that next program. You're going to see more cash flow than ever before. Your business is going to explode. You're going to do seven, eight figures or something greater. Well, what I'm here to talk about today is how if you've been trying those things already and it doesn't seem to be really landing for you, how you can use spirits guidance to allow it to provide you with all the substance and cash flow and opportunities that you really are looking for, that you're really uh, truly desiring. So we're going to go ahead and start diving into that in just one moment. Do you want to meditate and make money? Let it be simple. Let it be easy. Let it be fun. Go to yoursacredpurpose.com and get your free meditate, make money meditation today. Okay, so spirit, the, the guidance of spirit has everything for us. We get so caught up with the idea that we're going to have to do something to make things happen in our spiritual businesses, in our, in our work. So the truth is, is that we have all the infinite intelligence inside us to take care of everything only always right now. But what happens is when our, our stuff, our, our pain, they call it the pain body or the ego mind or the mind of separation or all goes by different names, gets involved and starts trying to drop the plans or, or even just gets in a fearful state about, well, is this, is this launch going to work? Uh, Am I really, can I really get new clients? Can I really charge this much? Can I really, whatever, fill in the blank and you don't know, you know, you don't know. Okay, they said, uh, be positive. Good. Okay, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. <laughs> okay, live as though it's done. All right, I'm living as though it's done. All right, okay, here we go. All right, and then then the week goes by, two weeks, the month. Oh, wow, it didn't happen. I wonder why, well, why that is. Okay, and you try another month, another month, another month. Wait a minute, they say marketing tactics will work. Wow, that didn't work either. Wow, um, you know, I did a, I did a challenge, make, make an offer every single day for a month. And uh, boy, I couldn't quite seem to make that work out either. I didn't, didn't even make that many offers or, or I did. And it's like, mm, maybe it helped some, but something's not landing here. So what's the issue? Why is it that so many things people are saying will work don't always work for everybody. You know, if you're already in a place where you're connected and you're you're grooving and you're ready for something, you know, uh, new mindset shift, uh, more positivity, more visualization, more of this, more of that may do the trick. It may do wonderful things, but if you're finding that you really are doing most or all of these sorts of things or a number of these things, and it just doesn't seem to land, then we need to look deeper. And that's, that's where I say, I like to say, that's where I come in, where we go deeper. Why is it that the connected energy just doesn't seem to be there to create the results you're looking for, especially in terms of cash flow? Do you have a business that's just not making the money you want? Do you have a business that makes a lot of money and then is not making money and it goes to seesaw back and forth? And then how do you eliminate that through utilizing spirit's guidance? So today, as I continue to go forward, I'm going to share about that. And I will give you some channel messages and perhaps, perhaps a um, quick process to help you start tapping into spirit's guidance. So the first thing I just want to share with you is that in the manifestation realm, a lot of times you know, we've been taught that it is about just getting your mind on it, just make it happen sort of thing. But it doesn't always work, you know, for the vast majority of spiritual entrepreneurs just putting your mind to it alone either won't work or if it does work it only provides a certain level of results and eventually you get toasty you get burned out and you're not not as happy as you'd like to be you're not doing as deep 
uh, as powerful as work as you'd like to be, or as expanded as you'd like it to be, one of those things. So this is where we're called to deepen in our spiritual connection and guidance so that the results can be there for our greater purpose. And therefore, for uh, the level of cash flow that you're looking for in your business. Because that is something I see that is one of the number one issues that people run into is they don't have the level of cash flow that they're needing or desiring, but usually even just needing. You know, I need a certain amount of cash flow to take care of my personal needs, my business needs, uh, whatever it is that you're, you feel is important to get, get that extra training program or coach or healer or whatever it is but that you're waiting to build up the, the cash flow to be able to do those things. So you know, what I've uh, learned is that if, if I try to make it happen in my mind only, then it's probably either not going to happen or as good as I want it to be. So what I do is I utilize the practice of meditation. I utilize meditation. So allow myself to meditate each day. Uh, optimally, you, you're meditating uh, you know, up to you know, an hour a day, 20 minutes at a time, or however you want to do it. But, you know, when you're first getting started, I always say, start with, you know, maybe 10 minutes, three times a day, or even 10 minutes to start the day, or any amount of minutes to get started, build it up to 10 minutes at least. And maybe 10 minutes twice a day, 10 minutes, three times a day, and then build it up beyond that to 20 minutes, 20 minutes, three times a day. Then you can take it further. You can go to half an hour or an hour each time or whatever amount that you desire. Now, the inspiration for this video is my, my life and also my fellow teacher in the world and brother, I want to say, and an amazing mentor and guide for my own life, Michael Beckwith. Michael Beckwith talks about, you know, let's fit your life. You know, he's probably not the only one that said it this way, but let's fit your life around your meditation practice, right? So there's a lot of you, maybe a number of you are meditating and you've got a regular practice. What I find is a lot of people don't. Surprisingly, a lot of spiritual entrepreneur types are not utilizing consistent meditation. There could be different reasons for that. Number one, just... The number one reason is resistance. So, and you know it's resistance. For those of you that know that, you, you, you identify as resistance and you know it's resistance, right? The other reason is a story that is just resistance. Okay, it, it, those are the two, two, two things. And, and there may be other categories that I'm not aware of yet. Okay, I'm sharing what I know. But what I've found is that when people do enjoy meditation and they're not meditating, they, again, the meditation centers you, gets you connected, and then the spiritual guidance can flow from there much more easily. So that's why I'm talking about that first, is when people are, are meditating, they, they're, they're busy, just busy doing all kinds of other things that they think will help their business or they keep them distracted and feeling, you know, more, more secure, uh, really is what it is feeling productive when you're not really getting anything accomplished, you know, all the usual types of things. So, you know, utilizing the meditative process, what you can do is come to a, that unconditioned self and begin to let go of everything that's not you. How can you consistently have joyful cash flow in your life unless you are connected to the thing itself, life itself? So I hear, I'm hearing from Jesus right now, come into these deeper waters, allow yourself to be fully nourished. For the waters of the infinite run through you deep. Allow yourself to be whole and well and provided for as you serve the world with your amazing gifts. Let this be so, and let it be done. Thank you, God, and so it is. Thank you, Master Jesus. So I just share what's coming to me when it comes to me. So the first thing, I, I can I jump around a little bit, but first thing is, is okay, um, I know I'm resisting meditation. I know I should be meditating, 
but oh geez you know i'm gonna try to get around it all right the second is a story that sounds like it's not resistance sounds logical but it's just resistance one would be meditation is boring you know i mean i like to do all this other spiritual stuff the qigong and tai chi and after all that's pretty meditative and uh and, and, and yoga and sometimes, you know, there's literally meditation involved in that, of course, but often it's it's not the sort of meditation where we're depending on the type, you know, type of thing you're doing, but often it, it's neglecting the deeper true meditation that I talk about. True meditation being letting go of everything and just getting connected in the first place, a real deep kind of connection. Not always, but I'm just saying often it can neglect that. We're just in this kind of connected state, which is beautiful, but neglects this deep, deep um, connection with the stillness within, a deep stillness, a deep connection, a deep letting go, a deep surrender, a deep saying, I abide in the nothingness without you know, moving my energy around or, you know, working with the chakras and chanting and all that stuff, which I, I do myself. But now this essential practice of just sitting, just being still. So the story becomes, you know, I just don't enjoy it. I've tried it before. I've made a commitment to it. I just didn't enjoy it. It's not my thing. You know, meditation wasn't my thing either. I can't say that I just loved meditation when I first started. My first time, the time I tried to meditate, I'll never forget it was it was in my car. Believe you yeah, right, it makes sense, right? I think that's my first recollection of really trying to get into a meditative practice. I probably meditated before that, but like it's the first time I remember like trying to get my meditation and practice going was in my car before uh, a therapy appointment. Uh, so that's funny. But like, I just, I just had like racing thoughts, sort of, you know, like I just I couldn't, I couldn't get still. And I just, after a minute it was up, I was just like, thank God, it's, we're done with that. That's how I started. You know, that was over, you know, well over 20 years ago. So that's where I started. I didn't want to meditate. My mind didn't want to meditate. I didn't want to get into it. But as I was willing to surrender and let go, I started to find that once I let those layers of my mind that were fighting it to relax, that I was able to connect it. And then meditation became something that I knew was foundational to my life. Because that's where the real life is happening is in that deeper connection. So at that point, I'd already been exploring spirituality and metaphysics and everything, but meditation, no, uh, you know, maybe a church and this and that's kind of cool, guided meditation, but a really cool even, but silent meditation, yuck. I mean, I didn't think those exact thoughts, but basically that's what it amounted to. That's what I hear a lot of people. Well, I just don't enjoy, it's just not for me. I need to be moving. Um, I meditate while I ride my bike or I'm on my horse or when I'm swimming or when I'm running or I'm not making it wrong. I'm just saying, if you're, if you can't sit and be in the presence of life and be still, you're missing it. You're, you're missing something very, very important, very vital. In, in my opinion, it is my, I will say it's my opinion, but it's my experience. And it's my experience, again, for me and for others that I've guided. And how does all this connect with cash flow? We're getting there. So as you allow yourself to start meditating, like you know, I've been meditating for decades now, uh, and, and regular, I think, you know, even though I didn't like it, I made a practice to continue with it. And the way I did it, I did uh, where you have a censoring word. So I, mine was, I believe, was always, I, I, I know it was peace. I may have switched it here and there, but it was always peace. I think peace. Every time I want to have a thought, peace, um, instead of the thought. And then I abide in the silence in between, you know, the mind wanting to think. So that's how I got started. And 
You can do breath meditation. You can just connect with your breath, what have you. So the foundation is going to be establishing your meditative practice. Then the next step is going to be to allow yourself to receive insights and wisdom from your spiritual guidance, which I say foundationally is meditation is the way to to go uh, number one, all right, because it's the deeper connection. This is where you find the sense of good enough. This is where you find the plenty of life, where your mind is questioning and saying, yeah, I can make that happen. I'm totally worth it. And then, oh, I don't know. I'm totally not worth it. It's not going to happen. Uh, woe is me, but I hope it works out. How many of you have that story, right? Like, it's the most common story of the minds, uh, you know, is one of the, for a spiritual entrepreneur that's not where they want to be. So what we want to do is get in that deeper connection. We're at peace with everything. We're connected. We feel connected with everything, every single moment, of every day. No, but by and large, that is how you feel. That is how you roll. That is just the state that you're in. Buddha keeps coming to me. Empty your vessel. Land in your body. Let go of the arrogance of the mind. The arrogance and folly of the mind. Follow your deeper insight knowing from this deep stillness and connection within. Thank you. Okay, so some Buddha energy channeling there. Come into it. From that place, you can do things like I talk about with meditating and making money, right? The gift that um, I'm offering to you, right? I'll tell you again about that um, down in the notes below and all that good stuff. But we'll talk more about that in a moment. But, you know, one of the things I talk about within the uh, PDF that I give you with it is talking about inquiry meditation, where when you get when you finally allow yourself to get connected, you spend whatever amount of time up to could be just a, a short while or five to ten minutes or so, or it could be right away. If, you know, just doing an inquiry session, not so much true meditation, but if you were to go in a true meditative connected state, and then you start inquiring about things. You ask the questions about your business. You allow yourself to receive the attunements and the downloads that you need because it will, it will guide you. And then the full, full connection could, can often come just from those downloads alone, everything you need to be connected with and to then know mentally. Sometimes we need to massage it and kind of partner together with our mind and our spirit to flesh it out after we start with the main thing, which is the spiritual guidance and connection. Spiritual guidance and connection, again, is what allowed me to land with what? The energy scan technique, which allowed me eventually to thrive and prosper in my business, which allowed me also to own the value of what I did and what to offer and how to offer it and to follow that guidance and that connected thread when I was connecting with people, offering my services. It allowed me to understand that I was supposed to open up an academy for invincible healers and train others to do energy scanning, which is, it's been so huge. You know, the hundreds of people I, I've touched through that, with that training and uh, hundreds of people at least. And I've utilized that now. But it came from meditation, it came from spiritual guidance. The steps, the connected energy for it all to happen, to create that kind of impact, that kind of income, a multi six figure business, everything came from the connective energy. So it just would be one of the examples. And it continues to just provide to us, provides for my clients. They utilize getting deeper connected within, clarifying themselves, and then listening to their guidance. Ones that are take, connecting with their guidance and then taking the actions are always the ones that are getting the deepest results. And there's a consistency to it. 
Are you getting your guidance, going within, just inquiring with source, inquiring with God, inquiring maybe with your light team, right? For those of you that roll that way, or your guides, what have you. Are you asking what you need to be asking? Yes, you can then from that space, when you get these downloads, you may get images, you may get movies coming to you of what wants to happen. Great, then that's where that visualization becomes so such a perfect tool, an even more powerful tool because it's coming, you're getting this pure, beautiful energy coming through to help you land. So when we think about the problems on a uh, we would say are on the planet. People describe it as climate change. When I hear climate change, I think how we're being not connected to the earth. Okay. Just, uh, you know, whether you yeah, buy into um, all the ideas around climate change or not, it doesn't matter. We know that there's a greater connection we could have with the earth and a greater way we could be with ourselves and the earth that would serve everything. Why aren't we? We're not connected. Meditation can be a gateway to that. Following our spiritual guidance and connection, even from the earth as well, can help us to be better stewards for our own life and the earth. To honor the earth, to honor ourselves. That would just eliminate so many, so much unnecessary suffering. Allows us to become stabilized and make clearer decisions that are based on our, our, our true self, on the unconditioned self, rather than your patterns and programs. Are you getting connected? Are you asking your guidance? Are watching the signs? I, and then from there, I don't mind all the other ways of getting guidance, you know, doing decks and power cards and, you know, angel cards. I, yes, I've used all those things over the years. I don't use them all the time, but you know, I've been known to use them. They, they're very, they can be very helpful, very, very helpful. There's so many ways. There's so many ways. But are we utilizing? Do we have a way we're using consistently? Are we constantly tuning in so that we're not doing things that further go away from our essential nature and therefore don't take care of our physical body and the earth and our relationships with the animals and the people and everything, right? And don't, don't take care of our relationship with everything we're connected with, relationships that are important within our, uh, for those of you that, that you know, again, that, uh, I'm not saying you should have a like team because that's, you know, that, that would be a judgment, um, but those connections we have in our light team, you know, whoever that may be for you, whatever those beings might be for you, these beings could, can, can make things easy for you. They can open doors that otherwise might be closed within you and then therefore within the world. New partnerships, new opportunities, new clients, new whatever, new things, new love in your life. So all this, I know it always seems a little interesting with me, right? I talk about all these things and yet I talk about cash flow. Cash flow consistently comes from not being worried about money anymore because you're in a connection you're focused on the fun, the joy in your business, the connected energy in your business from your guidance, which will tell you exactly what you needed to know around your cash flow. If you just ask, what will provide me with consistent and ever growing cash flow? How can I better manage my money so that I have adequate cash flow to take care of all my needs and desires? Um, and then there's everything else, right? Like uh, affirmations and all that. That's all super important too. But for today, I'm just saying, are we asking questions to get guidance, to get so connected inwardly that the intention gets landed anyway because you heard it and you received it deeply. And now that, and if you let it come in deep enough, it becomes embodied. And now it just becomes the truth. 
So are you using your spiritual guidance to get connected to what really wants to happen in your business so that would create all the value and all the cash flow that you're wanting in your business? If you're not, then you're missing the thing itself, first of all. The thing itself, the primary thing, your inner purpose, your inner connection, always primary. You're missing that because you're, 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 you could be missing that just by doing decks and stuff like that. You're not all the way connected. That's why I say meditation, meditation, meditation. Are, at a minimum, are you doing even the cards or other ways of doing it? And then letting that reveal what, how things want to get turned on and happening in your business greater cash flow and ever growing cash flow in your business feeling the energies of the angels and guides and your team coming into you supporting you or if it's just a frequency of like oh i just feel abundance right oh i just feel joy well from my tape viewpoint those are those are energy frequencies that i could identify as different bandwidths different potential angels or guides etc. like masters, whatever. So whatever it is, even if you call it abundance, are you dialoguing with your abundance? Are you asking your abundant energy <laughs> to guide you? Get connected with it first. Abide and dwell in it. Often it will speak to you by itself eventually as well may give you incredible insights in the shower moments that I talk about in my PDF for the free gift that um, we're offering here. So anyway, so that's what I want to share with you today. I hope this um, at a minimum is a wonderful reminder. Make a commitment to yourself to connect with your spiritual guidance, to rock it out with your purpose and then therefore with your business and cash flow. Make a commitment to it today. What will you do? What are you prepared to do? Put it in the comments below if you have the ability to, to do comments wherever you're listening. And um, let me know what you think as well about this topic. I look forward uh, to, to hearing from you. Uh, again, feel free to subscribe and to like this video and share it if you feel that there's others that you'd like to, to connect with, with this. And Again, a couple other things. Again, get the free meditate, make money meditation. That, you know, if you like to listen, that's another good way. I still say silent meditation is the best, but if you're not ready, you know, not willing to do that yet, that's okay. Just, you know, just get the free meditate, make money meditation uh, at yoursacredpurpose.com. It will open you, it will give you the guidance. It, it, it's baked into the meditation. It's literally just spoon feeds it to you in a way right it really does i don't know how else to put it so um so go to yoursacredpurpose.com to to grab that and the pdf and four ways to meditate make money so that you can increase your cash flow like others i've heard from that listen to it on a daily basis additionally if you want to receive champ messages and energy scanning and downloads from me personally Go to the Rock Your Sacred Purpose Facebook group and uh, request to join. I do a uh, Facebook Live at 3 p.m. Central each Monday. Join us there. Happy to share with you. Okay, well, that's all I have for you today. Keep deepening, deepen, deepen, go deeper your connection, deepen in your guidance, and uh, watch the magic happen. And keep on tuning in here. So keep on tuning it in. We'll keep on rocking it here at Spiritual Rockstar Podcast. Till the next time, everyone. Goodbye for now. You're listening to Spiritual Rockstar Podcast. Stay tuned for our next upcoming new episodes each Wednesday and Saturday. Please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review to help us to serve you best. As a reminder, you can get your free Meditate and Make Money meditation at www.spiritualrockstar.com yoursacredpurpose.com to rock your sacred purpose. Goodbye for now, everybody.